Hey everybody, I want to take a minute here and talk a little bit about code editors that you will uh, you'll obviously need one to do any kind of web development on. Um, the first code editor we'll look at here is the dreaded Adobe Dreamweaver. And for a number of reasons, I do not recommend this, particularly to students. And I want to talk about why real quick. A lot of people, uh, especially who take my classes, um, have this already. And if you have it already, fine, you can use it. I'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, but I prefer something else. And anyway, we'll start at the top. Let's talk about Dreamweaver for a second. So if I open Dreamweaver here, um, let's create a new document. First of all, this is part of the problem with Dreamweaver. I create a new document and there's just a zillion options. And if you don't know what you're doing in here, this can be very confusing very quickly, which is why I do not recommend this to students. Now, in, in fairness, um, Adobe, particularly with CS5, which is the current version at the time I'm filming this, um, it, it's a very robust application. It does a lot of things. It even does them well. But I don't recommend it to students. And the main reason is 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 because well first of all like look at what we're looking at right here it like takes over your screen and with all this stuff like over here we got business catalyst i've got files i've got assets you know if you don't know what these things are this can make things very confusing for you if you're not familiar with how file systems work this makes a nice crutch but then as soon as you get into a jam with something where you need to know where files are and what relative uh, you know um uh, linking and addressing means then this becomes very difficult uh the other thing i do not like about about this is over the top you've got code view split view and design view and you know I don't have much of a web page built here but a lot of people will work in design view and this is a bad move too because we're talking about browser testing and things like this and if you're in this design view no one is ever going to open Dreamweaver to look at your web web page you know so this needs to be taken with a grain of salt and Adobe support this well like I said, there's nothing wrong with it, but um, it's just so complicated, and it is a very powerful tool. I think Dreamweaver works best for people who um, are not necessarily students that are on a more advanced level that need Dreamweaver for some of the power of things that it harnesses. So for instance, if you do not have a content management system and you're developing a website for a client locally and just uploading it, you know, Dreamweaver is built for that kind of thing. Um, it's not a bad program. It's just way involved. And and I'll be honest, I quit using it several years ago. I have it because I use other applications in the Creative Suite. And so it came with it. And so I'm using it for this demonstration. And you've now seen me use more Dream Dreamweaver more than I have really all year put together. So anyway, um, I'm not a big fan of Dreamweaver for that reason. Let's uh, let me hide that for a second. I'm going to show you an application that I do like, and this is an application called TextMate. Let's go to their website first. Um, TextMate uh, is Macintosh only, unfortunately, and we'll show you a Windows alternative in a second if you're on a Windows machine. But TextMate is billed as the missing editor, and what is cool about TextMate is this is a code editor. Now, there's a big difference between a text editor and a code editor. So, if you're using Notepad or something like that, that's fine, but you don't get any color coding of your uh, what you've got. Going. I'll explain that in a second. Uh, but TextMate is a code editor that supports a zillion different languages. There's a three for 30, free 30-day 30 trial, and it's not an expensive application. Um, if you're on Windows, um, I have not had any experience with this, but uh, just in some searching and some word of mouth, um, a lot of people seem to support this. It supports the bundles for TextMate, which I'm going to show you in a second, and it's very reasonably priced. These are a lot less expensive than Dreamweaver. And uh, so if you're on Windows, you might look at giving this a try, but uh, definitely look at having a code editor. You can use a text editor to do your web development in but let me show you some of the differences. I'm going to show you some stuff inside TextMate here. So if I flip over to TextMate and I have no documents open, which I like already, there's no interface. Uh, but anyway, if we go into the file menu at the top of the screen, let's say open, I'll navigate to the desktop and let's go down to, um, uh, actually I made a uh, HTML folder a second ago for the last uh, project that we're looking at, which I cannot remember the name of, sorry. Um, if we go to uh, here, just class presentation. So I can open an HTML file, say open it, and you can see here it is right here. Already you can see that it's color, um, it's color coded all of my code. I know it's a redundant statement, but it takes all the tags and it puts them in color. And this makes a lot of sense. So for instance, if I open, uh, let's say a CSS document here, and I'll open the 960. Uh, this is a document that is actually um, they've we have taken out all the carriage returns and all those spaces so that it will load faster and be a smaller file. But you can see if you're dealing with 
the file like this right off the bat uh, that doesn't have any formatting to it, I can already see the color coding helps me a lot look for things. Okay. Another really cool thing, let's close this. I will um, use the command O, the shortcut for opening. And I'm going to go ahead, rather than open a file, I'm going to open that entire folder. And this is really cool because the way TextMate works is you have this tray over on the side. And so this kind of, you know, one of the things that's nice about Dreamweaver is that you do have the, um, you know, the file paths and stuff, you know, in the visual interface. And you get that in TextMate too. So there's no reason to miss that in Dreamweaver. And I can just open my files here. Here's my index.html. And then I can open some CSS files and I can start editing away. And this makes everything so much cleaner and easier. The other thing I like about this is I mentioned the very minimal user interface. There are no buttons. And this is one of the problems with Dreamweaver, particularly for students. If you're trying to learn and you're crutching yourself on buttons, you have no incentive to learn the nuts and bolts of code ever. And this is a bad thing for students, I think, because you really need to know where things are, how to debug things in the end. And I'll be honest, like even, you know, years ago, I when I started using TextMate, which has probably been about, oh gosh, I think about five years now. Uh, the day I stopped using Dreamweaver, within a month, and I'd gotten my way around TextMate, my development time for a website like decreased by two thirds. I mean, I was developing a site in the third of the time it used to take me when I used Dreamweaver, and I think that's just because the interface is so clogged down with buttons and trying to remember where things are, never learning code, um, or, or not learning it very well because you're using shortcuts all the time. Uh, you know, I, I really think this is a faster method for for building a web page. Um, the other cool thing about um, about Dreamweaver, excuse me, about TextMate, don't mix them up here, uh, is the navigation at the top of the screen, excuse me, bundles. And they come with bundles options. And what these are, are they're basically code snippets. These work like plugins. And you can see all the languages when I open that menu that are supported. There's languages I'm not even familiar with in here, like Latex and uh, Snippler and things like this. You know, I, it, But they're here. It's got them all. This is what makes this such a value for, for the money. So developers who develop in these languages still have support with TextMate, uh, which is really cool cool. Uh, but anyway, if I drop down to like HTML, for instance, and I can so I can get documentation for a tag, I can validate syntax from the W3C if I want to, um, I can run a document and, in, in, uh, or I can open the document in a running browser. So if I have Safari open and I just need to shortcut this, anyway, and this is all customizable. So I can shortcut all these things too. If I want to change the shortcuts, if they're not what I want, you know, I can I have control over that. The other cool thing is it's got code snippets, like I mentioned a second ago. So if I go down here and we will say, insert a document type, or I can insert a tag, and here's a bunch of tags, and here's shortcuts for each one. So if I want an input tag, I can select this, and it's going to put it in an odd place, yeah, and I don't want it there. Um, uh, but anyway, let's drop a line. I'll put it here. I can also do the shortcut, which was to type the word input, input, and hit the tab key, and I get two choices, input or input with label. Let's do the input. And there it is. It just tags it for me. So again, I'm contradicting myself here by saying, you know, obviously I'm not learning my code this way. But once you have learned your code and you need to be able to write faster, this is a huge asset. And I'll talk about another application in a separate uh, tutorial that I use um, called the Text Expander that uh, actually does the same thing and it's universal. So anyway, this is TextMate. If you are using Dreamweaver, don't let this tutorial bum you out here. Um, go ahead and use it. What I would do is I would reserve Dreamweaver for using. Let's go back in here. I would stay in this code only layout and I would ignore all the pains and buttons and all that stuff and I would just learn how to code. Once you are familiar and comfortable with coding HTML and CSS and JavaScript, then fine. If you need Dreamweaver to fulfill a specific workflow need, then you're good to go. But for our purposes here, I really recommend against it. If you haven't purchased Dreamweaver yet and you were thinking about it, if you're a student, I would hold off. I would do TextMate. It's much more value for your dollar. And this has been just a race to get through this. Um, I have not gone anywhere near through all the stuff TextMate will um, let you do. But I did want to show you an overview because I'm going to be using TextMate in all these examples, and I'll talk about bundles and stuff in uh, episodes to come. So anyway, once again, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode.